Okay, so in this problem, we were tasked with finding um, lots of different things when we were given um, the rate of reaction, the concentration of one of the reactants, and then at a certain temperature with a certain um, activation energy. So first, in order to find the rate constant K, um, I used the equation R equals K concentration of A raised to 1 because it's a first order problem. And so I was given R, which is the rate of reaction, so that's 5 equals K, and then the concentration of 1.5, and then I just solved that to get K equals 3.3 repeating. And then for 2, we were supposed to find the rate of formation for product P, so I just used the stoichiometry in the equation, so I multiplied the rate of reaction times um, the two moles of the product to get 10 molarity per second, P. And then for three, we were supposed to find the half-life in seconds, so I used the equation, um, the integrated first order rate prop like equation, so that would be ln concentration over a certain time equals ln con initial concentration minus K times time. And so I just plugged in all of the constants, all the information that I had to get t equals 0.21 seconds. And then for four, um, we had to find the concentration of reactant A after 15 seconds. So I used um, this equation, which would be concentration at a certain time equals initial concentration E raised to the negative kT. So that would be, so I plugged in all of the, all the little whatever information and I got that concentration at the certain time. And then I had to do the same thing for the products. So the only thing that changed was the initial concentration because the concentrations are different. And I got the initial concentration by multiplying um, the stoichiometry by the concentration of A. And then for six, we had to find the rate of reaction at time zero when the temperature increased by um, 20 degrees Kelvin. So um, I used this equation, K equals A E raised to the negative E A divided by R T. And then the fact that the rate would be the new divided by the old. So, and then the first, so when I plugged it in, the A's would cancel with each other, and so we have E raised to the negative activation energy divided by constant R times the temperature, the new temperature, and the same thing on the bottom except it's with the old temperature. And then I set that equal to K, but the K would be, like the new K that we have would be the K that we're trying to find divided by the K that we already found in the first part. And so after solving it, I found that the the rate of reaction and yes